Tulsa looks good on you, your one-stop resource for all things Tulsa. Hey there, it's Jenny. I'm so excited to chat with Lori with Tulsa Botanic Garden. I am so excited to be out here at this yes. beautiful space. Why don't you share with everyone who you are and what you guys do out here? Sure, yeah. Well, um, you know, a lot of people haven't, maybe, I think a lot of people have heard about us, but we're not right. on the beaten path, it's true. Um, <laughs> like in Midtown. And so um, we really try to get people to come out and see us. And usually once they've seen us, they're sold. Um, right. So we're only about eight miles north and west of downtown. Mm -hmm. We're not far from Gilcrease Museum. I like to give that kind of, we're probably about five miles from their door to our door. Right. That a lot of people, of course, know where they are. And um, we're, I call it, a, it's a garden from scratch. Literally land so was donated and we've just had wonderful community support to, to uh, you know, we're a baby in the garden business, but um, to just keep developing and growing. It's so beautiful out here and very, very easy to get to. Not a lot of traffic on the way out no. here. So what do you think is the most special thing for you being here over all these years? You know, I think, well, part of it is um, having the, you know, having our members. We have, you know, members that have joined and helped support us and having, seeing them over the years come and bring yeah. their kids and families and watch us grow and be excited about our growth. Um, but also just, you know, the seasons, you know, every season right. I'm like, oh, it's, you know, oh, it's spring. I love, you know, I'm ready for spring. And then it's, oh, it's fall. This is going to be blooming and I'm going to see butterflies and hummingbirds. And oh, so yeah. it just changes. It's all, it's an always changing kind of palette of plants and color. And... Okay. So that's your favorite thing. <laughs> so what would you say the, the uh, people that come through, I'm sure of all ages, what did, what did they enjoy most? You know, I, it kind of depends on what they're looking for. You know, families really enjoy just spending time together yeah. um, outside. Um, you know, in our children's garden, there's a lot of interactive things right. to do. Um, so we have school groups and we have, you know, all kinds of ages that come in here. And, and then we tell people this garden is uh, not just for kids because there's a lot to see in here as well. Yeah. Um, but we have, you know, uh, lots of different events throughout the year that, that families like to come to through the season as well. So besides lots of beautiful flowers in your garden, there's a lot of other areas to walk around and things to do and see. What are some of those things? Yeah, so our Tandy Floral Terrace Garden is an ornamental garden that we have. Uh, so it's basically a flower garden. It's got mm -hmm. perennials, but we do a huge spring bulb display every spring in that garden. And we're kind of known for that. Probably one of the largest in the, in the state. So pretty. Um, so we kind of have people come visit us, even from outside of, you know, Arkansas, Missouri, come down to see us for that. Yeah. Um, but we have our children's garden, of course. We opened two new gardens, you know, recently. Um, our newest are our Liberty Garden and our Lotus Pool Garden. And mm -hmm. so um, those are just a new, two new elements for people to come and explore. How do people uh, plug in and learn more? Are you needing... Uh, help with anything? Do you enjoy donations? Def well, all, <laughs> yes, all of those. <laughs> no, we we are a nonprofit. Okay. Um, so we um, we have had just one time support from grants from like the state and federal, but we don't get any tax revenue. A lot of people think because right. we're called Tulsa Botanic Garden, we may be getting from some city revenue. We're really all supported um, by memberships, by income. When we have private events at one of our buildings, mm -hmm. um, lots of different avenues. So donations and, and support are always important. Volunteers are important too. Yeah. And so I, I always tell people, you know, come out and see us. That's the first step I think, but also just check us out on our social media. If you want more flowers in your feed, we're usually out there pushing, yes. but telling you what's blooming and uh, go to our website too. get easy directions, see what we've got coming up and, and see what, what sounds good to you. Okay, well then just tell everybody, what's your website and sure. your best socials? Uh, our website is TulsaBotanic.org, real okay. simple. And um, pretty much our socials, the same thing. Our Facebook is Tulsa Botanic Garden, and our Instagram is Tulsa Botanic. And uh, yeah, easy enough. Find us. <laughs> well, you guys, you got to come check it out. It's beautiful. And let us know if you need anything, okay? Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much.